guys, it's the middle of the week, so we thought, why don't we do some book shopping? And the Q&A we just did, someone did ask us what's our favorite bookstore besides Barnes & Noble. Books A Million came up, and we realized we haven't been there in a minute, so we definitely wanted to stop by. And Elliot did let us know that Books A Million is selling a Colleen Hoover It Ends With Us bag, and I had to get it. We saw it there. It is so cute. We thought it was just like only It Ends With Us. No. It's also, it starts with us, which is so freaking cute for $3.99, come on. We've always really enjoyed Books A Million, but this time especially, I don't know what happened, but they stepped up their game. The way that they have everything set up was so cool. Whoever organizes that store did their research. They had like a book talk spicy section, a book talk rom-com, sci-fi, and everything was like actual books that we see trending right now. So I just thought that was really cool. It is definitely one of our favorite places to go. We of course had to get some books. So the first one I saw, I'm so behind on it. I can't believe I don't own it yet, but I did get Red, White, and Royal Blue. This is just one of those that I know when the movie trailer comes out, I'm just gonna feel like FOMO because I haven't read it yet. It's ridiculous that I haven't read it yet. It is a queer love story and it goes into like enemies to lovers, which I love. That is one of my favorite tropes. I am obsessed with this new cover too. And y'all know I don't love hardcovers, but I mean, the inside of this is just giving. Like this <laughs> is so gorgeous. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. So I'm thinking these are like all little scenes like in the book. So afterwards, it's gonna be so cute. But then I thought, oh, it can't get any better. And then this is all pink. Yeah, that's, that's adorable. This is, <gasps> oh! Okay, wait, this is all pink, which is so cute. Look, oh my gosh, stop. I'm obsessed. Blue could what? History. Oh, huh? bet we could make some. Oh, that's cute. This is so cute. Okay, hardcover. Okay, okay, you did what you needed to do. I know they're already finished filming this. Seriously, I think any day now they're gonna drop the trailer, so I need to get on this already. What happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales? I want this to happen in real life. Like, you know, there's so much like political debate, mm -hmm. but I want there to be like a romance between both sides. Oh, when his mother became president of the United States. Love oh, that. I like that. This collector's edition does feature a brand new chapter from Henry's point of view, which is so cute. I feel so special. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I'm just so excited for this. I can't believe I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. And I have a Casey McQuiston book. Oh, what is it? What do you have? One Last Stop. Haven't read it yet. Mm, haven't read it yet. That's what I wanted to read too. Yeah. Those are so old. Like, why have we not read those yet? I don't know what's with me. We all know I love YA. I have so many YAs already though, so I don't know why I keep buying them because they're never on the top of my priority list when I pick out a book to read. But this one, it's specifically a cover buy. I've seen it for years. Every time I pass it, I think it's a gorgeous cover and it is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Look at this cover. In high school, Little fun fact, in high school when I was in photography, my concentration was like surrealism portraits. So I was making stuff like this and this just calls to me. So I had to grab it. I do think this is a pandemic type story, which is kind of triggering. So basically there's this virus that took out all the teachers and then it started taking out the students. Now there's an island of all of the girls and they're kind of scared to venture out because they know this virus has just affected the entire planet. But when one of them go missing, Hetty will do anything to find her, even if it means breaking quarantine and braving the horrors beyond. It sounds scary. I don't know if it's going to be kind of like a zombie book or if it's more just like dystopian. I don't know but I thought it sounded good. Did I just buy it for the cover? Basically, yes. It's gorgeous. Okay, the next one I got was Viola Davis's memoir. I'm really starting to get into memoirs and I absolutely love Viola Davis. I think she is such a talented actress. At the Grammys, she just got her EGOT for mm -hmm. the audiobook. Which oh, is for insane. this book? Yes. Oh! It has been the memoir, the audiobook to read. I know a lot of people said it made them very emotional. It's following her story and like how she became who she is, just the struggles that she's been through growing up. Oh my God, was this her? So cute. I love when they do that. That is so adorable. It says in my book, you will meet a little girl named Viola who ran from her past until she made a life-changing decision to stop running forever. I can't wait to read this one. And knowing that she just won a Grammy for the audiobook, I'm definitely gonna have to listen to it while reading it, but I'm very excited to read this one. You guys, these two. <laughs> Okay, first of all, first of all, they had a bunch of different clearance sections. And let me explain. We've always known they have a clearance section. They have their bargain books, but they also had a used book section, which was 
I've never seen that before. Every time we've gone, I don't know if we just never go in that back corner, but I think that's so cool. I don't know if you could donate books to them and then they sell them. I don't know how that works, but they do have a used book section. Anyway, I'm like talking about used books. I didn't get one of those, but I did get a clearance one. This book was $1. This is book three. <laughs> book three is... <laughs> In the Seven Realm series, The Demon King book one, I wrapped in our blind picking book cart. So once I choose that one, at least I'll have book three. I still need to get book two, but I'm set with book three. I was also really excited to find this one because this is the publisher that matches my book one because I know that they were selling other ones. It's mm -hmm. a whole thing. It's mm -hmm. the publisher always. always make it crazy but I'm happy I got this one this is one of my most anticipated series I know it's got political intrigue romances it's high fantasy so I know there's like a cool magic system and it's just one I've wanted to start for a while honestly though anything that I would have found in that section for a dollar I probably would have got anyway but I'm just really happy it's a series that I already partially own and then lastly you guys I've been looking for this book for years I don't know why it was so hard for me to find the English version I believe the original is in French but this movie adaptation is one of my favorites and it is the little prince and I finally picked it up they had the English version I had to get it book outlet has this book a lot but it's like the Spanish edition the French edition and I can never find English so I'm so excited to read this it's such a short little read have you seen this movie you made me watch this movie it was good right yeah it was really cute <laughs> it's so cute and I love that they have like little illustrations inside I'm sure everyone in their mom has read this already but I'm just so excited to have it now I'm gonna read it you know what I'll read it this month please read it to help month. me out yeah because I I've been struggling but I finally got it I'm so happy if you can consider this a classic then it'll be another classic under my belt <laughs> I'd say it was a pretty successful shopping day I love books million they are you were so right I know I always am so right we have to go back the reason they stick out to me too is not only do they have the new releases and popular books but the bargain books is such a good affordable option and now that we know they also have a used and clearance mm -hmm. section come on and it's at the mall come on and their gift section mm -hmm. is like different and you can find things that are you know somewhat affordable i feel like anytime i go to barnes and noble like the lowest thing is 20 dollars. Yeah, i agree and i just can't have fun with that books a million you guys if you have one if not i know they have an online website oh i didn't even know that right i don't know yeah they do yeah that's kind of it for this video. Just a quick little shopping trip, middle of the week. On Friday, we do want to do another reading one star reviews on Goodreads of books that we've read. We love doing those videos. Those are so fun. They're hilarious. <laughs> They're hilarious. People are brutal on Goodreads <laughs> and we just have a great time reading them. It's hot. I'm sweating. It's a sauna in this car. So we're going to go ahead and go. We do post new videos every week. So make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. And in high school, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, what'd you say her name is? Hetty? Let me see. Okay. Right, right? Uh, I'm like, tell me now, <laughs> tell me now, because I'll say it wrong. I thought you were like mispronouncing Heidi or something. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen, but no. They got me last time with the magazine. Uh, <laughs> don't, sign up for, don't sign up for the magazine. I was like, okay, I'll take all of the magazines. I, uh, I had to go cancel that.